back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. Today I am re 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 making my oatmeal milk and honey soap. Gosh, this is probably the sixth, seventh time I've remade this soap. It is so popular, so come with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! Okay, so first things first, we're going to add our cooled lye water to our cooled oils, just as we do. And in our oils, we've got olive oil, castor oil, coconut oil, soya bean oil, sunflower oil, rice bran oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter. Mmm, yum yum. So, the lye water has mulberry silk dissolved into it, and that's the reason I strain. And now we're just going to bring it to emulsification. Love that look when it turns creamy like that. So beautiful. I'm just such a fan of cold process soap making. I have tried doing hot process soap making, and I just can't dig it. <laughs> so yeah, give me the cold process any day. So now I'm going to add my fragrance. I use oatmeal, milk and honey fragrance, which I got from Natural Candle Supply. And it actually smells quite a lot to me, like almond or marzipan. And this one that's going in now is cinnamon vanilla fragrance, which I just love. It makes me think of oats, it makes me think of porridge. And in case you don't know what porridge is, it's just the New Zealand version for oatmeal, milk and honey. So if you look up breakfast you know, hot breakfast porridge is basically just cooked oats served with honey and milk. <laughs> so this is porridge soap. That's why I call mine porridge soap. So I'm sectioning out a portion to be white and I've sectioned out a portion to be dark brown. And then I'm going to add some ground oat flour, not colloidal oatmeal, but ground oat flour that I made. So colloidal oatmeal is um, made in a kind of a tricky way. It's taken me a long time to try and wrap my head around the science of colloidal oatmeal. But with uh, oat flour, it's just you just take your oats and you just grind them into a very fine powder or a flour. And I find that this is totally totally acceptable for adding into soap. Not so much for adding directly into bath water. Um, somehow colloidal oatmeal suspends in the bath water, but oat flour just sinks to the bottom of the bath. And then when you sit down, you can feel the oats and it's not very nice. But with a soap like this, you don't have to worry about that. You're getting that oat flour suspended throughout the soap batter. And I think it's a really good way to add the oats without using up my ultra expensive and super luxurious colloidal oatmeal. And you still get all the benefits of the oats. So there's a little insider trick for you. I'm adding more titanium dioxide to the white than I would normally because I know for a fact that these fragrances contain vanillin and vanillin discolors. So I am prepping for a discoloration to happen, but I still want my white soap to stand out as a swirl against the rest of the soap. Stop, stop, soap, soap, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make it build up high, milky food is smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star stuff, if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love. Stop, stop, soap, soap, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make it feel up high, milk it feel smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, soap, if you're gonna wash with something. <laughs> Stop, stop, soap, soap, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make it feel up high, milk it feel smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, soap, if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olive. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love. I'm 
soft, 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 so, so, excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make the food a high, milk the food smooth when you get your bubbles. So I'm going for my own version of the Clyde slide here. It's with the Clyde slide, you tend to pour in this method into your main jug and then take that and pour that into your molds. So this is kind of like I've taken half the technique. I'm just pouring this into the mold. I was hoping to get a tiger stripe sort of a swirl and you'll see in the final bars how it turns out. It's not quite a tiger stripe. And I think in the future, if I was gonna do this, I would probably hang a swirl the whole lot at the end. I'm so addicted to hanger swirls, guys. I just love them. So so yeah, if you haven't tried hanger swirls and you make soap, then you should try it. So now I'm just going to layer up the last of the three colours of soap in lines across the top because I just like to swirl them and this is the best way I find to get a nice swirl. I like soft, soft, soap, 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 excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal Make the food up high, milk the food up smooth When you get your bubbles, well you know no, it's getting cool I love stuff, so if you're gonna wash with something Make it handmade and make it extra yummy I love all the coconut, canola and olive Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love, love. Soft, soft, soap, soap, excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. Make the food up high, milk the food smooth when you get your bubbles. Well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, stuff, if you're gonna wash with something. <laughs> Soft, soft, soap, soap, excuse me, natural hair makes soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth and the leather is surreal. So it sits overnight and we're back again the next day to cut the two loaves. I did make a double batch because the soap is super, super popular and it always sells out on me. I always find myself running out of this one. So especially with naming it porridge, it's just made it that much more popular. <laughs> Funny, eh? So you can see on the end slice I got a bit of a tiger stripe and then it sort of fades up. And as the bars go along, the stripe effect becomes wider and wider. It's not exactly what I was going for. My soap was getting thicker on me, so that probably had something to do with it as well. But yeah, all in all, the design is not really what I was going for. I'm still happy. I love the way you can see the oatmeal section of soap and the dark and then the light, you can actually quite distinctly see all three soaps in the one soap and I'm really happy about that because that sometimes gets lost. The white soap sometimes just gets mixed in with the oatmeal soap and then I don't even notice. So there's the end bar of that loaf and I didn't show cutting the second loaf as well because it was basically the same thing that you just saw. <laughs> But here we have the final bars and they're all lo lined up and curing and I made a cute little video on my cell phone so I'll show you a little bit of that video now. That was a bit silly. So these are some photos of the wet soap and then of the cut bars all curing. And I'm really happy and I hope you enjoyed watching me make the soap. And this week I would like to highlight Bradley B. Foster again. Now I highlighted her bath fizzy bricks last time. This time I would like to highlight her beautiful cold process soap. I did have to turn the picture on the side so it would fill up the page a bit better. But this soap was one she shared in our Facebook group called Star Soaps family. So if you'd like your picture shared, come along to the group, join up and share it. We love to see your creations. Thanks for watching and if you're not already and you want to be, hit that subscribe button below and become a member of the Star Soaps family. Bye!
handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make it through the pie, milk it through the smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love stuff, so if you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olives. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made.